on several occasions has asked the west and ukraine to come to the negotiation table but a few victories by ukraine in counter offensive strike made zelensky and his regime drunk on the euphoria of victory the illusion was such that kiev dared to attack crimea bridge the symbol of putin's power putin has had enough now he has decided to go all out against ukraine with his good friend belarus's lukashenko hello and welcome to tfi global the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of tfi media group i am your host ananya sharma let's begin lukashenko stated on monday that the two nations had begun coordinating their efforts two days prior in response to the crimean peninsula bridge explosion that russia annexed in 2014 lukashenko said We have agreed to deploy a regional grouping of the Russian Federation and Republic of Belarus he added Lukashenko did not specify where the troops would be deployed Belarus is politically and financially dependent on its closest ally Russia during the invasion of Ukraine on February 24 Russian forces utilized sites in Belarus as a staging area transferring troops and equipment into northern ukraine lukashenko continued i have said already that today ukraine is not just discussing but planning strikes on the territory of belarus lukashenko realizes that if ukraine can attack crimea it can dare to attack belarus like it has done in the past few months when several explosions were reported on the broka airfield the president said belarus must have plans in advance to counter all kinds of scoundrels who are trying to drag us into a fight the russians have close historic and cultural links with russia oleksiy romov a deputy head of the general staff's main operations directorate claimed that up to 13000 current and former troops and riot police from belarus have signed a letter of agreement to take part in russia's war against ukraine Ukrainian President Zelensky is already shivering at the thought of Belarus and Russia coming together. In his speech on Tuesday to a virtual gathering of G7 leaders, Zelensky expressed his worries. Zelensky told the virtual summit, "Russia has started a new stage of escalation and therefore a new sanctions package is needed, a strong package, and I ask you to develop it." Zelensky suggested setting up an international observation mission along the Belarus Ukraine border to save the country from the attack Zelensky said the territory of Belarus is already used for strikes against Ukraine and now we have a bigger threat Russia is trying to directly draw Belarus into this war well Zelensky must have deliberated the response when he attacked the Crimean bridge Crimean bridge is a symbol of Russia's power its merger into Russia was Vladimir Putin's crowning achievement It is a huge source of pride and cost billions to construct. The attack on it was a very significant change in the whole war optics. In an immediate response, Russia did a missile assault on several cities in Ukraine. As hostilities between Russia and Ukraine heated up, the Polish government has advised its people to leave Belarus with available commercial and private means. To support Putin, Belarus has gathered 15,000 soldiers close to the Ukrainian border in readiness. Lukashenko warned the president of Ukraine and other lunatics that if they do something similar like the bridge attack on Belarus the Crimean bridge will seem like flash to them according to a 2021 report by Muzika for the Estonia based International Center for Security and Defense think tank Belarus has around 45000 soldiers 60 planes and 600 tanks if Belarus and Russia attack Ukraine Kyiv will be sandwiched by the armies of both nations This will tilt the war totally on Russia's side. Does this surprise you guys? Or did you see this coming? Do tell us in the comments.